funny that I want to start this off with hello party people. <laughs> So welcome back to the Marley Bird YouTube channel and the final video for the crochet Christmas stocking mystery make along. By this point, you have a stocking that is nearly complete. The only thing left is the toe. And conveniently for those of you who have worked on hat projects before where you've decreased down at the crown of the hat, this toe is going to be very familiar. Now, the instructions are free and available at marleybird.com, just like everything before. I've, provide, I've provided the link in the video description box down there below, which will take you to the blog post, to get the instructions for this video, and you will be ready to start the toe of your stocking. When I left you at the end of the last video, I told you to go ahead and complete the foot of your stocking. Of course, my little tiny stocking here is just quite uh, a bit smaller than the one you are creating, but you can see how the transition from the star stitches and the single crochets works seamlessly all the way down through the foot of the stocking. So now we're going to create the toe. And for the toe, we will work it in rounds and we will work decreases every other round until we get to a very small number of stitches. Then we will use our tail and seam that little bit closed. So following along with your pattern, the toe instructions have us begin with the single crochet two together. So I will pull up a loop in the first two stitches and then I will single crochet those two stitches together. And this works the first decrease that I'm going to create around my piece. I will now single crochet in the next six single crochet. I've used up a total of eight single crochet so far, right? Because I have, I used up those first two to create one stitch and then I used the next six. So I've used up eight, but I only have seven single crochets. That's important to note because we have a total of 49 stitches and we have to know, is 49 divisible by eight? No, it's not. So what we will do is repeat this single crochet at two together and then single crochet the next six all the way around and then we finish off with the single crochet in the last stitch of the round. That makes it so the single crochet two togethers decrease evenly all the way around the toe as much as possible. So you would continue on in the pattern and it says to repeat so you would do your single crochet two together again over the next two stitches and then single crochet in the next six. And you would do this all the way around to the very end. When you get to the end of the round, you will join with a slip stitch just like before, chain one and turn. So we're still working in our joined rounds. Then you go ahead and you will single crochet all the way around. When you get to the end of the round, you will join with a slip stitch once again, chain one and turn. And on this round, we work another round of decreases. So it's very similar to the first round. You will single crochet two together. And in the first round where we then single crocheted six stitches, this round we would single crochet five. When you do your five stitches, let's see here, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and then you'll work your repeat again. So you'll single crochet two together and then five. You do that all the way around and you finish with one single crochet at the end. When you get to the end of the round, you join with a slip stitch, chain one and turn. So you repeat doing this, right? You repeat the single crochet two together and then the number of stitches you put in between your single crochet two together and the next single crochet two together begins to go down every other round. And you do that until you do a full round of single crochet two togethers with that last single crochet and you finish off your work. Let's get to that point next. When you get down to your final number of stitches, you will go ahead and cut your yarn Finish off your work, okay, so finish off your work. Thread your tail onto your tapestry needle. Now, working 
around the outside loops. So I'm going to go around the outside loops and I'm just going to thread this tail going around the outside loops all the way around. Can you see that? So I'm going to thread it all the way around the outside loops of the single crochet. And when I pull this together like a drawstring, it's going to make it look very nice. All right, so once I do that, I give it a pull like a drawstring. And look how pretty that looks right there at the tip. You take your tail, tuck it to the inside. So that's the tip of the toe. Now you have all of these ends to weave in, but you can do that later, right? We Christmas is five months away. We don't have to do that right now. <laughs> but overall, this is our cute little stocking. Let me take out my stitch markers now. And look at this cute, lovable little piece. Oh my gosh. Tuck in those ends so nobody can see. It's like they're never even there. But that is, that there is something cute. Look how adorable that little stocking is. And I love that it has a little piece here already incorporated to hang it from my mantle. If I wanted to, I could do some pom-poms and add them on here. If you'll remember in video one, I said you have uh, an option to add some pom-poms so you could have a pom-pom maker if you want to. But honestly, I think this looks really great the way it is, so I'm gonna leave it. But that's, that's how that works up. So now you know how to make the toe of your stocking. I really hope you have enjoyed this mystery make along with me and Brianna Kay. It has been so much fun teaching you all of these skills and watching your excitement as you're working along with us because you didn't know what you were making. And I really hope you like your final results. I want to take a minute and thank Brianna Kay Designs for joining me for this first ever Christmas stocking mystery make along. It has been so much fun working with you these past six months planning this event and then putting it out there for the world to see. I mean, gosh, doesn't it feel like we just gave birth to a baby? <laughs> I can't wait to do future events with you. And for those of you who have not had a chance to check out Brianna's YouTube channel or her website, you need to go do that. She is also a bi crafty woman. She is a knitter and a crocheter, and she has amazing designs out there. Trust me, you do not want to delay checking out her stuff. That's it for me, everybody. Make sure you have hit subscribe and smash that like button, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye. Thanks so much for joining me on the Marley Bird YouTube channel. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit subscribe. I've put a link right over there, or you can watch a couple of the videos I've already selected for you right down there. If you want to follow me on social media, I've put my links right over there. You can have all Marley all the time. Bye guys.